this is Cheryl and I'm back with a, another layout um, on a scrub and roll lately and the last layout that I completed was uh, with some photos from when my son was three and so I've moved forward in time a little bit and I'm going to be scrapping a photo from when he was 10 uh, and as you can see he's grown up quite a bit um, I'm a handsome guy I really, I like how he's facing this way. I feel like most of the action for this photo, I feel like it should start on the right and kind of move this way, but we'll see what happens as I move along. The composition may completely change. I'm going to be using a kit by Kristen Cronenberry called Hello Handsome. And a lot of it is like you could um, create a layout, you know, obviously for the love of your life, but I was really drawn to the, you are the cutest boy in the world. So that's what drew me in with this one. And so I will uh, first grab that particular journal card. And I'm gonna decrease my photo you know, till it's um, just about that size. Maybe do a little blocking here. Nope. I meant to select both of those. I think this needs to come up just a tad. <clears throat> we'll line that on the bottom. Okay, and let's see. I think I'm going to try this stripe. And basically, I want something in this spot. So, pretty close to here. But then, you know, not going out too far. So I'll add some drop shadows to those and make sure everything is aligned. I think this needs to be maybe just a tad bigger. We'll see. Okay. That looks pretty close. I don't think anybody in my family is going to get out the measuring stick. Well, I'm going to put this under here. And I like it for a layering piece. And just have it right there and build some clusters along the bottom there. I'm going to grab a background paper first. Um, I don't know if I want to go straight solid. I think I do. Nope. I like that craft background. little arrow. Oops, grab the wrong thing. Don't ever do that. Grab the wrong thing when you're scrapping. Like, mm, so irritating. Mm. Okay, so that's pointing at him. I like this little icon. And I'm going to use it over here. So I've got some black here, 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 and then there's some black in the photo, so there's a good good movement there. You know, I'm gonna pull this down just a tad. <clears throat> what a cute little Brad. 
Oh man, I remember when I was paper scrapping to try to get those little metal things open. Ugh, heavens to Betsy, make you want to say say a cuss word, maybe. I think I've shown y'all in other videos, but I do use um, a program called ACDC to organize um, my scrapbooking supplies. And I really like it because I can um, view really quickly um, what's in this kit. Uh, I just like the viewer. And of course I can do this just in um, File Explorer for a PC. and there are various ways I'm sure you can do it on a Mac as well and you can also use Photoshop Elements or um, Bridge so you have lots of options to view so I'm using a second screen and that's how I am viewing and that's where all of my products are coming from is off on the I'm going to point with them over that way, over, over this way. So I'm dragging them over here and there's nothing over here. There's no, nothing. I can't go anywhere. I used to have three monitors, but yeah, there was a slight problem with the shelf installation. My husband made me this awesome shelf and it kind of fell and yeah. It wasn't a good thing, but he has reinforced it. It will be here till the end of time. And yes. All right. I'm going to pull this plaid in and then I'm going to decrease the size of this. Okay. So there was a slight interruption there in my recording process. My husband and son came home from Boy Scouts, so I don't even remember what I was talking about at the end there, but we'll continue on. All right, just wanted to have a little bit of that color in the background. Oh, for heaven's sake. Okay. Deleting the wrong thing. Okay, I don't know if I like this banner, but there's this really cute star frame. My computer's thinking for some reason. Okay, there it comes. Really like it. And I like the balance, but I think I want to make it a little off balance. So this is going to go here. And I'm going to put that at the corner. center that and I'm not liking my banner so that's gonna go sure about that or not. We'll just leave that off. I do like this, but I think I'm gonna keep the 
I think you're cute, Kurt. Clearly, I'm having a cutie theme today. I'm going to add some paint. I like this pattern paint one specifically. Uh, and I also like all these other paints as well. Mm. Yep, I like what that's adding. Is that the right color? Nope, I don't think I need that one. I'm just going to close all these out. Quite a few buttons in here. Not too. So this photo was taken in July. My mom usually always cooks for our birthdays, and um, we had had to postpone uh, his birthdays at the end of June, and so we had to postpone uh, our actual dinner celebration until mid-July, and this picture was taken then, and you can see in the background his birthday cake um, is there. But um, I have lots of other pictures um, of that dinner that really show off, um, you know, what we were doing. But this particular one, I just like this portrait of him and was glad to, um, you know, just highlight it on its own. Okay, I'm going to add a couple of stars. Let's look like little wood veneer maybe? I don't know. They're cute though. I might just make a couple of these hearts here. Here and here. I'm going to add on some string. Pull that 
Okay, so mainly there's like um, mostly still going to be a horizontal type uh, design. Oh, I don't think I need that ribbon. I really like it. Look how that turned out. Not a lot of dimensional elements, but super, super cute. All right, I'm going to do my journaling um, off camera. And if you like the video, uh, give me a thumbs up. Be sure to share. And of course, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video.